So, how are you feeling today? Can't complain. Are you feeling happy today? Mm. Excellent. How are your bowel movements? Well, usually they're long and skinny, but today they're small and pebbly. Hmm. Maybe dairy's the culprit. Maybe we should switch you to soy milk. Ugh, I hate soy. Really? A lot of Asians love soy. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, same time. Okay. What time is it and why are you in my bed? Don't be scared. I want to introduce you to somebody. Well, hey, I'm Poe. I'm told I live here now. So I know how much you all love to play music. Now you can play something for Poe. I don't play violin. How strange. Wow. I feel so relaxed right now. So, how's it going with Poe? He sucks. Well, no, I mean, he's totally your type. He's taken over my space. Oh, okay, but just tell me on a scale of one to 10, how sexually attracted are you to her? Ew, no. Ming Ming, you're not getting any younger. I'm asexual. What's this? Don't know, looks good though. Jeez, can you please use your chopsticks? Who raised you? I didn't know my parents when I was young. They died. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I'm an orphan too. I guess we have something in common. My name is Florence White, lead researcher of the Asian Vivarium Project. Since the Asian population has dwindled globally due to anti-Asian legislation, rising suicide rates, and Asian flush, America's economy and overall quality of life have significantly decreased. Here we have the last two Asians in America. Wow. We have transferred the one known as Po into Ming Ming's space in hopes that they will mate and produce offspring. Can't wait to see what happens yeah. next. <laughs> I had no idea Poe would be so easy on the eyes. So exotic. I really hope Flo meets someone. I don't know, she's really kind of a bitch. <laughs>